Hello, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com, and welcome to this overview of Skin Retouch for After Effects. Skin Retouch helps you with beauty work, in particular if you want to smooth the skin or remove wrinkles. Simple skin smoothing approaches have often had the problem that they eliminate all skin details. This results in a plastic-like, unnatural look. With Skin Retouch, you can smooth the skin but still preserve all fine details of the skin texture. Yes, this looks much better. Here is how Skin Retouch works. Skin Retouch uses a technique called frequency separation to split the image into two separate layers. The high frequencies, which contain the fine skin details, and the low frequencies, which contain everything else. Now you can modify the two layers in whatever way you like. To smooth the skin, we apply some blur to the low frequencies. Then we combine this blurred image again with the skin details to obtain the final result. As you can see, the skin looks smooth, but the fine skin texture is still preserved. Let's see how this looks like in After Effects. We select our layer and click the Isolate Skin Details button of Skin Retouch. As you can see, the layer is now replaced by two layers. One for the high frequencies, which represent the skin details, and one for the low frequencies. Both layers blended together look exactly like the original image, but if we only look at the high frequency layer, you can see that it only contains the details. And if we look at the low frequency layer, you can see that it looks a little bit blurry since it contains everything except the details. To smooth the skin, let's add a fast blur to the low frequency layer. As you can see, we can play with the blur amount until we get a really beautiful skin. But not only the skin, the remaining image is modified by the blur. To avoid that, we add masks around the skin regions that we want to smooth. To limit the blur only to those skin regions, we add the mask as compositing options of the fast blur effect. Finally, we feather the mask a bit to finish our skin retouch. Now let's say we want to get rid of those wrinkles. If we inspect the high frequency layer with the skin details, you can see that the wrinkles are clearly visible on this layer. We use the clone stamp tool now on this layer to remove the wrinkles. Let's say we paint over the wrinkles here by using material from that region. In that region, the skin is quite a bit darker, but in the layer with the skin details, this difference is not visible. Hence, it is no problem to replace the wrinkles with skin texture from there. In general, using the clone stamp on the skin detail layer works exactly like using the clone stamp on the original footage. But the big advantage is that you don't have to care about skin tone, shadows, or other details, since they are not part of the skin details layer. Let's quickly recap what we did so far. Skin Retouch split the image into two components, the skin details and the remaining image. Then we applied a blur to only this remaining image to smooth the skin without destroying the skin details. Finally, to remove the wrinkles, we did some painting work directly on the skin details layer. Of course, we are not finished. Since the face is moving, we need to animate the masks. We select them all and use the Mama World tool Mocha Import Plus to send the mask to Mocha. Next, we will track the masks in Mocha, but I will leave those details to the in-depth tutorial with Matthias Moll. So are you excited and want to know more? Then check out the in-depth Beauty Retouch tutorial series with Matthias. Oh, and did I mention already that Skin Retouch is free? Yes, the Mama World team wants to say thank you to you all. Thanks to all of you, we can do the job we love and develop products that we are excited about. To show our appreciation, the Skin Retouch extension is available for free. Again, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com, and we'll see you next time.